But one of the things that I think is very destructive and irritating about the way that people tend to ordinarily think about diet and development and, and health is, yeah, I don't know, my, my whole life growing up, people t- tended to have the attitude of, oh, when you're young, you can kind of eat anything and your metabolism works. And then it just sort of magically sh- slows down or breaks later. And it's like, no, 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 no. You are in the process of setting yourself up for it to be broken later by not not feeding it properly early on. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. That's a good, that's a great point. I mean, look, look at the junk that so many kids eat. I'm looking you know, read read the ingredients of a box of cereal. I mean, it's just yeah, mostly yeah. sugar, and and it's just uh, it, it's quite appalling, really. I mean, and, and part of the problem is that that's it, it's hard enough to get kids to eat anything as opposed to uh, nutritional uh, stuff. I, I you know I struggle with that. My I've got I've got a seven and an eight year old, so I know I know I appreciate the challenges of <laughs> getting your kids to uh, eat a healthy diet. But I, I think that's a, that's an excellent point. I think that the problems are probably starting very early yeah. uh, in childhood. Uh, we're not sort of getting that um, necessary balance, uh, especially between these uh, these fatty acid pathways, uh, particularly omega six, omega three, uh, and that's something that we really need to pay more attention to. Yeah, yeah, and I, you know, I'm definitely someone who's been harping on the omega six, the skewed omega six composition of, of diet for a while. It's, I mean, any, everywhere I look in the literature, whether I'm talking to the cancer people or the brain people like you, when that ratio is skewed, no good seems to come from it. I can't find a clear example where having you know 21, 20 to one omega six to three ratio leads to a good outcome. No, absolutely not.